Hello, my name's Ian, I work for the Aspire Health team. We're here today for the 12 week discussion programme. Today we're going to be focusing on the red week which is all around physical activity. We're going to look at the local picture here in Wakefield first. So, here in Wakefield we've got one of the least active areas within Yorkshire and also the country, which shows in this information on the slide and on your handout. According to the Sport England Active Life Survey in 2017-18, we only have 58% of the population active for at least 150 minutes. This is compared with 62% in the rest of England. Also here in Wakefield, one in three adults who are unemployed is the least physically active, uh, which is a little bit of a worry, because uh, hopefully they should have some time on their hands to be able to get out and do a little bit more activity. That's compared with one in five adults who are actually out working uh, and in professional occupations. Looking at the Chief Medical Get Officer's guidelines uh, around physical activity, we should be doing 150 minutes of exercise per week. That's moderate activity. So that's going to get you a little bit warm and a little bit sweaty. If you want to go a little bit more vigorous and really put some effort in and some oomph in, we should be doing 75 minutes per week. As well as doing this, we need to be doing two, at least two sessions of strength building. So that's whether it's yoga, weight training, circuit training, carrying heavy bags uh, and things like that. As well as that, as we start getting a little bit older, we're going to start losing some balance and some coordination. So we need to look at things like yoga, pilates, tai chi, bowls, that are going to help support us with some balance work as well. We should be doing, looking to do this around about twice a week. We want to improve physical activity because it's got lots of health benefits. Uh, it can improve sleep, it maintains a healthy weight, it can help you manage your stress at work and at home, and it improves your quality of life. Uh, if you're doing physical activity, it can help to reduce diabetes type 2 by 40%, cardiovascular disease by 35%, falls and depression by 30%, joint and back pain, pain by 25%. So, I want you to think about the information uh, that we've just talked about on that slide and what I want you to do is take a few seconds out and think about what you currently do physical activity wise and does it meet those guidelines? Have we made a note of some of them things? I hope you're near enough hitting them on all those topics that we talked about. So on your cardiovascular, your strength and your balance. If not, there's lots of activities out there that we can do. Yeah, here are some activities that you might be able to try uh, and want to have a go at. So whether it's swimming, gym, fitness, classes, uh, health walks, naughty walking, going out, doing some home based training as well, uh, cycling, golf, football, bowls, there's walking, rugby, uh, walking football out there, there's all different racket sports that we can take part in. Also, you might find something that appeals to yourself. So, next I want you to have a think about, if you're not hitting those guidelines, uh, some activities that you might want to try and how you might go about accessing them to get you to the level that you need to be for the activity guidelines. So hopefully we've done those. So what we've talked about today, quick recap. Yeah, physical activity guidelines, what you should be doing, how you can be doing it. We've asked you to think about what you're currently doing and how you might be able to improve that and things in the future that you might like to try. So 
So next time you see us as activators, if you want to have a chat with us about how we can support you to move forward and increase your activity levels in the ways you'll need to, that you've identified, then we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.